So this question says an isosceles right triangle has a perimeter of 94 plus 94 root 2 inches. So I'm of the habit of anytime I read a question that describes something that can be drawn, I just like to draw it. Sometimes it ends up not being necessary, but you know, this is my habit. So I know that an isosceles right triangle has been described, which means those two sides are equal to each other. That's a right angle. This is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees. And based upon what we see um, on our resource page, the first page of the math test, we can consider this to be side x, x, and x square root 2. Um, we know the perimeter is equal to 94 plus 94 root 2. The question goes on to say, what is the length in inches of one leg of this triangle? All right, well, all of these answer choices represent a leg. So I am going to use a strategy to plug in answers. So it should be pretty quick because if, for instance, I said for choice A, if the legs were 47, then that would be 47, this would be 47, and this would be 47 square root 2. And while 47 plus 47 is, in fact, 94, this is just 47 root 2, right? So again, perimeter comes by adding up all the sides. So when I add up all these sides, 47 plus 47, I get 94. But I'd still have a 47 root 2 here, not a 94 root 2. So that means choice A is gone. So the answer is not 47. So let's get rid of that. So how about choice B? So choice B says, well, what if it's 47 root 2? Okay, well, let's try that. So if this was 47 root 2, and this was 47 square root 2, then that would make this 47 square root 2, like as the x portion, but I'd still have to deal with this root 2 multiplied, so I multiply that by an additional root 2. So when I add 47 square root 2 plus 47 square root 2, I get 94 square root 2. Okay, well, that matches that part. And then when I multiply 47 root 2 times root 2, I actually get 47 times 2, which is 94. So I also get this portion. So that tells me that choice B must be the correct answer.